What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Here is my review for the new Netflix film, Tired Horse Girl. Now, the film premiered at uh, Sundance with some mixed reviews, some okay reviews, some not okay reviews. So, I was kind of interested in this film because uh, I did quite like the trailer. I thought the trailers was the, uh, pretty decent. Uh, it was directed by uh, Jeff Biana, who's actually a pretty good director. He directed that uh, Life After Bet movie, and he also directed uh, that uh, Dirty Nun movie called The Little Hours. If you guys never seen The Little Hours, that like you're not going to want to look at nuts the same way. But uh, anyway, now this stars uh, Alison Brie, and one reason I want I decide to watch this because Alison Brie is the one is a star, and I adore Alison Brie. Uh, you know, she's she's great on Glow. Uh, she was great on the community. Uh, she was also in the low hours, so that's pretty cool there, too. And she... Now, I will say that one thing. Alison Brie was terrific in this movie. I thought she... Now, I will... Now, here's my quick review. I thought it was terrible. It's probably Netflix one, like Netflix's first bad movie of the year. But I would say Alison Brie's performance is worth giving this movie a shot. She was remarkable. That's probably one of her best performances I've seen out of her. I mean, here's, uh... Right. Here, uh, Brie portrays this uh, woman named Sarah who's this, who works at this uh, hobby uh, store and uh, can also happily uh, spend, um, you know, all day finding all the uh, right uh, fabric for uh, a, a customer's uh, sewing, pro uh, sewing project and or uh, comparing, um, you know, the clean abilities of uh, different uh, paints and all. Uh, you got my, and she also, uh, she also had um, suffers from a uh, mental illness too, and that's a really big factor in this movie. And you, you got a uh, Shan who portrays uh, her uh, co-worker. Uh, you got a uh, Debbie Ryan who portrays uh, her roommate here. Uh, this actually has a pretty solid cast, but uh, you know. Sarah ends up having like uh, crazy uh, nightmares, which she also uh, hails along ch alongside two uh, strangers in a uh, mysterious uh, right white room, and she's also in like this uh, uh, mental uh, hospital because she ends up having like a, a breakdown throughout one scene. Uh, they try to uh, indicate this as a horror film. It's like there's some creepy elements, but this thing is. I'm sorry, this movie was just completely boring. Uh, didn't really make uh, much sense. I mean, the ending, I just don't felt flat. Uh, the only good main part about this movie is Alison Brie's performance, and I thought she really shined. Uh, you also had Park Rise that was also in this. Park Rise is always a uh, given. Uh, John uh, Orris um, plays like uh, you know one of the uh, strangers that. Uh, that Sarah sees in uh, her nightmare. Uh, you also got uh, John Reno who plays like her, uh, like her uh, bow in this or uh, boyfriend, I should say. I mean, I really want you to like this because, like I said, I like the director, I like Alan Sabri, but I really like. I literally was bored out of my mind by this movie. I mean, I could see now why uh, they decided to dump this on Netflix instead of uh, giving it to like a, a studio like Fox Searchlight or whatever. Because I don't think people will literally pay money to see this movie, and they probably wouldn't do good in uh, theirs. But, uh, and, yeah, they, they literally try to make this thing as if it was a horror film. It's not that much of a horror film. Like, yeah, there are, like, some of the nightmare scenes were pretty creepy, and, and, uh, but that was really it. Then there's, like, a weird, uh, horror, like, on Netflix, just love horses. I mean, both Jack Horseman people, and, uh, there is, like, a weird uh, horse scene throughout the whole movie, too. Uh, like, a relationship between the Alice Brie and the horse, which is a weird relationship there. But, uh... Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I, I really want, like I said, I wanted to like this movie because it's Alice Brie in it, and... But I really can't get into it at all. And, uh, like I said, if, I'll say only, uh... I'll only suggest to watch this movie mainly for uh, Alice Brie's performance alone, because she was literally one of the redeeming qualities of the whole film. But, uh... The rest, yeah, just felt a little flat. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Uh, did you have a chance to, uh, to check out uh, Boss Girl? And so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Timu signing.